There's a clever bitwise trick to set the rightmost 0 to a 1 and everything else to a 0 for unsigned integers. The way you would do this is to negate this unsigned integer and then do a bitwise and with x plus 1. For example, let's say that we have an unsigned integer, let's call this x, equal to 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1. And this number is not in decimal, it's in binary. And now when we do this bitwise trick of negating x and then doing a bitwise and with x plus 1, we will get a 1 for the rightmost 0 and everything else will be equal to 0. So for example, for this number, let's first find the rightmost 0. The rightmost 0, so starting from the right and then going left, we see that the rightmost 0 is over here. So this will turn into a 1 and everything else will turn into a 0. To the left of this 0, everything will be a 0. So you have 0, 0, 0, 0. And this rightmost 0 will be a 1. And then everything to the right of this will also be a zero. So we'll get zero, zero, zero. But how does this bitwise trick actually work? To understand this trick, let's break this down into two parts. To negate an x and to add one to x. Let's start with negating x. When we negate this x, it will flip all zeros to ones and all ones to zeros. So let's use this example. So we have x equal to this. When we negate this, this is equal to all the zeros from x will turn into a 1, and all the 1s will turn into a 0. So the first bit starting from the left will be a 0, the next one will be a 1, the next one will be a 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0. So that's negating x. How about x plus 1? Now at first it doesn't seem like x plus 1 is doing anything special, but here it is, since we add 1 to x, it will turn the rightmost 0 to a 1. And to see this, let's use this example, and then Let's do a x plus 1. x plus 1. Since the first bit starting from the right is a 1, and when we add 1, this will become a 0, and then we carry the 1 over to the next position. Here we need to add a 1, so this 1 will also become a 0. And then for the next position, we need to add a 1, so this will also become a 0. And then on the next position, we need to add a 1. 0 plus 1 is a 1. Now notice what happened here. We said that the rightmost 0 is over here, and when we added 1 to this number, it flipped this rightmost 0 to a 1, and everything to the right of this rightmost 0 turned into a 0. And also notice that all the bits to the left of this rightmost 0 remains unchanged. Here we have 1, 0, 1, 1, and the same is over here, 1, 0, 1, 1. So what we just observed here is that it flipped all of the 1s to a 0, that are to the right of the rightmost 0. It also changed the rightmost 0 to a 1. And then everything to the left of this rightmost 0 remained the same. So now that we've seen how negation of x and x plus 1 changes the bits, let's now see what happens when we do a bitwise and of the negation and x plus 1. So again, this is what x is equal to. Let's also paste the negation of x. So I'll copy this. And then paste it here. And then x plus 1. Okay, now that we have x, negation of x, and x plus 1, let's see what happens when we do a bitwise add. The first bit, 0 and 1, will be a 0. The second one, 1 and 0, will again be a 0. 0 and 1 will be a 0. 0 and 1, again, will be a 0. 1 and 1 will be a 1. And then the rest are zeros. Okay, so this is what we get. Let's check back our answers. Scrolling back up, see over here that this is our answer. And we can see that we also get the same answer over here. Let me show you an example using Python. So let's say x is equal to int. I'll copy this string and then tell Python that this is binary. And let's print what x is equal to. So x is equal to 183. Let's now use this bitwise trick. So I'll type l is equal to negate x and x plus 1. Let's print this l out. Print l. I want to print this l as both as a number and as binary string. So I'll type f l colon 0 8 b. And this tells Python to print this number l as binary, so as zeros and ones, having the size 8. Okay, let's execute the code. And we get L is equal to 8, and in binary, it is equal to this number over here, which is what we calculated over here. 